Welcome to Hamad's Biology Online Lecture Room. My name is Hamad Ahmed Jan, lecturer in Botany, Kurtaba University of Science and Information Technology, Peshawar Campus, Hyderabad, Peshawar. The topic of this video lecture is plants resistance to virus infection. This is the first part of this video. Resistance to viral infection. A disease is a physiological process, hence the study of plant disease is concerned with abnormal plant physiology. Consequently, the study of resistance examines how a plant can slow down or stop the disease process. Resistant plants are those which do not become infected, which do become infected but at a lower rate or which develop less uh, severe symptoms than other genotypes. The resistance to viruses may hypothetically interfere with any of these steps in the virus infection cycle. Entry of the virus or disassembly, replication, movement within or between cells and transport from the site of initial infection to other parts of the plant. Distinguishing a non-host from a host. A virus cannot replicate in a non-host. Non-host plants are therefore immune to the virus and this immunity has to be tested and shown at the level of single cells or protoplasts. The definition for an immune or non-host plant is therefore quite strict and the term non-host refers only to the plants in which no virus replication takes place. Otherwise the distinction between a non-host and a host becomes difficult to draw. If virus replication occurs, the plant is infectable and must be considered a host solely to reflect this fact. Several mechanisms can prevent virus multiplication after initial replication. Restrict the infection to the initially infected cells, causing localization of virus infection to restricted areas in the infected leaf or prevent systematic spread of the virus from the inoculated leaf. Virus infection can be restricted to the initially infected cells so called subliminal infection. For example, brome mosaic virus infects monocot species in the field but is not known to occur in cowpea a dicot and does not infect cowpea plants systematically upon mechanical inoculation. However, BMV can infect the protoplasm of cowpea. Tobacco mosaic virus typically infect dicot species in the field whereas monocots such as barley are not infected. However, the protoplast of barley can be infected with TMV. TMV does not infect orchid systematically. But if the 30 kilo Dalton movement protein gene of TMV is replaced with the MP gene from odontoglossum ring spot virus, a related tobacco mosaic infecting orchids in nature, the 
the chimeric TMV will systematically infect orchid plants. These examples demonstrate that although the cells support virus multiplication and synthesis, thousands of new infection copies of the virus are generated. for which many compatible virus host interactions are required. The cell to cell transport functions are not supported. Natural hosts are plants in which the virus occurs in the field. They are usually but not always systemically infected. Beet necrotic yellow vein virus and potato mop top virus are transmitted in soil by protests and infect the roots. But seldom the above ground parts of the sugar beet and potato plants respectively. Experimental hosts are plants that can be infected with the virus but in which the virus is not known to occur in the field. They can be systematically infected or they may only support virus multiplication and cell to cell movement in the inoculated leaves and thus are not infected systemically. Hosts that develop visible lesions on inoculated leaves are known as local lesion hosts. The term non-host cannot be applied at the plant species level unless many different genotypes of the species are studied. This is because immunity can be due to a single gene or a few genes that may segregate among genotypes. For example, the recessive gene PVR1 in capsicum chinensis and the dominant gene Rx in potato provide immunity to pepper mortal virus and potato virus X respectively. Examples of single genes for virus specific immunity shared by all genotypes of a species have not been reported which may be due to simply to the difficulty of attributing immunity to a particular gene in the absence of trade segregation. It is commonly thought that most plant species are non-host to most viruses and that susceptibility is an exception to this rule. This conclusion is easily supported by any of the numerous studies that have examined viral host ranges. In most species tested with a virus, the inoculated leaves develop no symptoms, no virus is detectable with the standard assays. For example, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay or the plants do not become systemically infected. The picture might turn more complicated if detailed studies at the cellular level are carried out. Anyway, it is difficult to explain these data by specific resistance genes being expressed against most viruses in most plants. Rather, many crucial interactions and steps of the virus infection cycle may fail in most species. In addition, general cellular mechanism may be conserved in plants and may operate against the early stages of viral infection in addition to carrying out other control functions to maintain homeostasis. The recently described post-transcriptional gene silencing may provide such an antiviral mechanism. The terms describing virus host interaction and resistance, pathogenicity and virulence.
pathogenicity is the ability of an organism to cause a disease. Plant viruses are pathogens because they cause symptoms at least in some of their hosts. The crypto viruses form an, an exception because many of them cause no detectable symptoms in the known host. Virulence is the major of pathogenicity. It can be studied by comparing responses to different strains of the virus in the same host genotype. Highly virulent virus strains induce severe symptoms. Virus strains that cause mild symptoms possess low virulence. An avirulent strain causes no symptoms. A symptomless virus infection in plant is often referred to as latent infection. Whereas in medical virology, latency usually refers to the time between the infection and the appearance of symptoms. A virus strain that accumulates to high titers in the plants has high fitness. A virulence and resistance genes. When specifically speaking about resistant host, virus isolates are strains that fail to infect the resistant plant are a virulent. In contrast to the virulent isolates are strains that overcome the resistance. Resistance gene is the host gene that determines the resistance. A virulence genes encodes the viral proteins that shows an incompatible interaction in the resistant host, resulting in a failure at some stage of the infection cycle. In a more strict use, in the context of gene for gene theory, the A virulence genes encode the product that is recognized by the product of the resistance gene. Consequently, recognition triggers the resistance responses inhibiting viral infection. Resistance and susceptibility. Resistance and susceptibility are quantitative terms that describe the relative suitability of an infectable genotype to be a host. The use of term largely follows the recommendation of Cooper and Jones, 1983. Sensitivity and tolerance refer to symptom expression. A sensitive, susceptible plant develops severe symptoms whereas a tolerant, susceptible plant contains high virus titers but shows few or no symptoms. A sensitive, resistant plant reacts strongly and may die from the resistance expression, for example due to the development of lethal necrosis following expressions of the hypersensitive response HR. A tolerant resistant plant has low virus titers and show no symptoms. Immunity and extreme resistance are the highest degrees of resistance in an infectable host. Resistance gene genetics. The host gene that determine virus resistance are designated as virus resistance genes. Single gene mediated resistance to viruses is controlled by a dominant or recessive genes. These alternatives are resolved by genetic studies using cross single gene mediated resistance in is commonly used in breeding programs due to the simple inheritance. Quantitative resistance is determined by two or several genes that show major effects and by additional minor genes. 
the genetic loci in involved are called major and minor quantitative trait loci for virus resistance respectively the term horizontal resistance is used to describe non virus specific resistance conferred by multiple genes and probably by several mechanisms with additive effects it is therefore a form of quantitative resistance horizontal resistance can be observed as a generally low incidence of virus infections in field crops single gene mediated resistance is then called vertical resistance protection against virus infections is the in the field is often the result of both types of resistance horizontal and vertical operating simultaneously thank you for watching the video